Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shola and I want you to be your own icon. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about level up and level up content versus holistic self-care. If that sounds like something you're interested in, let's get going. As always, um, I am not the perfect messenger, but I do hope that you get the spirit of my message. Um, I just want to say that this is not going to be like a spilling tea, throwing shade, getting real messy sort of YouTube video. I'm not interested in that. I don't have time for that. Um, and I think there's enough of that on YouTube. If you want to go and find that, go do that. <laughs> but that's not what this video is going to be. We're going to get into like practical things. We're going to be talking about both things. I'm going to be talking about some things over there that I do have a critique of, but I'm going to do it with respect and compassion the same way that I hope that anybody watches this and doesn't agree or maybe thinks a little bit differently would do the same for my content. That's just the gig. That's what I'm interested in doing. So for those of you who may not be familiar with level up content, level up content and content creators really focus on um, instructing, I think mostly women, but now I guess also men uh, about making good romantic decisions, good financial decisions and good um, aesthetic decisions. Aesthetic decisions is like what you look like, how you look, how you conduct yourself and all those sorts of things. Um, if you're new to the channel, holistic self-care describes a set of routines, rituals, and practices that we use to aid in loving and healing ourselves. That's the work that I do as a holistic self-care guide. Um, and that's why I say that I want you to be your own icon because I want you to do all of those things so that you can live a gorgeous, lovely, luxurious, happy, beautiful, yummy, amazing, spectacular life. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to say off rip. I don't have a problem with level up content. I don't, I don't have a problem. Well, there's some level up content that I, I would prefer just to not be near. Um, and that is, that content is the content that only prioritizes looks, that only prioritize your worth as it is um, related to a man um, and related to materialism. That's the stuff that I'm not really super keen on. Um, but I do know that there are a lot of level up content creators who are coming from a good place. Like a video that I did um, a few weeks ago, I really think that it's really important to not just take the few people who are there with ill intent um, and paint the whole, the whole crew as that. I know that there are people who genuinely want to see women make better romantic decisions, better financial decisions, and better aesthetic decisions in order to get them to the lives that they wanna lead. And I totally get that. I think that's part of what I do. Um, a big part of holistic self-care is finding your routines that make you be that radiant person that I want you to be. Um, and a lot of that does have to do with aesthetics. And a lot of that does have to do, not a lot of it, but a, a good, like a, sub, a bit of it has to do with your romantic partners and making sure that every relationship in your life is a relationship that is high vibrational, that is good for you, that is healthy, that is reciprocal, and is um, just better for your general development. So my big thing with Level Up content, besides what I just said, um, is that it's showing, it is almost like creating a routine, but not knowing who the routine is for. That's gonna be my biggest, critique and it's 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 barely a critique a little a little baby mini critique <laughs> if you will what i do in my process is all about understanding who you are what you want what you value yes and then creating a routine that reflects all of those things Right. And the who you are is not just like, hey, I'm Shola, like I live in Philly, like um, this year's year. Um, it's not that. It's who are you under your fear, under your trauma, under your emotional neglect, under your abuse, under your doubt? Who is that person and what does that person want? What do they really want out of life? Um, and how do you want that? in a way that is fully unapologetic. And it's a, how do you want that in a space that really gives you room to be multidimensional and go after what it is you want unapologetically? So I think that in a lot of senses, level up content is like step six, 
when a lot of the people who seek out that content need to go back to step one. Yes, right, if that makes sense. So if you go, if you go straight to step six, which is you know, um, aesthetic driven, materialistic driven, um, romantic partner driven, all we live in a materialistic world. We live in a capitalistic, patriarchal, whatever society, right? So all of those things are important. All those things need to be thought of. But if you go straight to the sixth step and you don't think about who you really are and what you really want and what you really value, that sixth step is not going to do much for you, not long term anyway. It's going to, maybe it'll get you far. It'll make you look, you know, cute. <laughs> it'll make you look cute. It'll make you look jazzy. It'll make you like, you know, feel that kind of way. Maybe you, um, you know, you meet a great guy or you meet a great partner, but it's not going to be sustainable because there's going to be something in you that's like, well, I have all these things, but, but what does this mean now? What does it mean for me? And like, do I actually even really want it? And funny enough, do I, am I actually really worthy of it? And so that's why you'll do all of that. And then you have to come right on back to step one when truth be told, you should probably have started with step one to begin with. <laughs> that's the important part. So the work that I do, um, I have a guide out right now. It's the Know Thyself Guide and it's really a practical and easy worksheet. Well, not easy because it's like emotionally, it can be emotionally difficult, but a worksheet that brings you through understanding the cycles that you're in right now. Um, understanding how those cycles are showing up in your mind, body, and spirit, and then really working through some of that, um, you know, trauma or tough stuff that you're going through in order to get to the other side, which is creating the routines. And the routines can be um, things that are very closely linked to um, leveling up. So for me, I went from a size um, 14 to a size 8, um, soon to be a size 6. Um, and I did that through implementing healthy eating choices and, um, and exercise and taking time to take care of myself. I'm so sorry about the lighting today, y'all. I'm like filming at a different kind of day. So it's time of day. So it's kind of going to be all over the place. So, um, yeah, those are the routines that I created for myself in order to, um, lose weight. And to be honest, you know, losing weight was a goal, um, but it was more about like feeling comfortable in my body, feeling like I'm in control of my body and understanding what exercises, what movement, I like calling exercise, introducing movement to the body, what movements in my body felt good, what food made me feel good. And realizing that a lot of the things that I was doing, a lot of the foods that I was eating actually made me feel bad. Like it didn't make me feel good. Not like bad emotionally, I mean, I mean like bad in my body. Like it made me feel bad in my body <laughs> so understanding those sorts of things before i just run to go and you know try to be a size four without realizing like oh i'm changing my habits because i don't feel good i'm changing my habits because i'm realizing that how those habits are linked to other things that my overeating and my under exercising is linked to working all the time and having the emotional um brain space to set boundaries so that I don't have to work all the time. So I have time to cook and I have time to exercise and I have time to do my yoga and my meditation and whatever it is that I need. So if I just decided to run straight through straight to losing weight um, and being aesthetically pleasing, um, I could have fallen into some patterns of, of, of um, you know, really toxic diet culture things, which I've done before and I've and I've been there and this is the most weight I've ever lost. I'm sorry, I'm using weight as an example. Hopefully this is not triggering to anybody, but this is the most weight I've ever lost, but this is also the healthiest I've ever done it. This is also the best I've ever done it and the best I've ever felt um, because I really thought about why I was doing it. I really had a why. I really understood the value of what I was doing and the value of putting myself first. So um, that's just an example of like skipping, starting from you know, step one to skipping to step six. So um, that is sort of my largest critique of level up and the level up content. And I just wanna say that um, if you did start at six, 
uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally cool. You can still, you can take, you can take some of what you're doing at level six or at stage six, and you can bring it back to you to, to step one. And it'll help contextualize both sides of the thing of, of the coin here. So definitely think about that. My next thing about level up versus holistic self-care is understanding what those levels look like to you. If each level is determined by the bags you can buy, the places you can go, and the men you can be in your company, um, your success is only derived from others and it's not from the inside. So yeah, I mean, it's still, you know, sorry, sorry to keep using my weight loss as an example, but for my weight loss, it was like, yeah, I bought, I bought some new clothes when I started losing weight and that, and that was fun. And that was, you know, that was an indicator that I was doing good, but it wasn't an indicator that I was leveling up. An indicator that I was leveling up was looking at my body and still seeing like, okay, I got to do a little bit more running. I got to do a little bit more of this, but I, I love my body right now. Like, I love that I'm doing this right now. I love that I've been working out for over a year consistently every week. And that was not something I had ever done before. That is, that is the goal setting that needs to happen. That is the goal setting that needs to come from leveling up. So definitely make sure that your level up is not only determined by what you can buy and who you can nab you know, in the dating market, but like, how am I feeling? How am I doing? Am I improving? Am I setting goals that have nothing to do with anything else but me and how I feel and how I would like to develop as a person? Um, lastly, let's, let's just briefly touch on femininity. Like, let's just like, let's just like touch, <laughs> let's touch and, and go away of, of when it comes to femininity. A lot of the work that I do, um, is grounded in spirituality, in mindfulness and sort of the divine feminine archetypes and lessons and, and stories and history and history. Um, so femininity content is part of leveling up because like I mentioned before, aesthetics and making good aesthetic decisions in order to level up. My only thing here is femininity is multidimensional. We hold multitudes. Um, the idea of feminine energy holds multitudes. It's an energy. It's comprised of a lot of different things. So um, seeing femininity, femininity only be painted with one brush um, of like looks this way, resting in your femininity, all these other things. Um, I don't necessarily think that that is accurate. And I think this idea of just trying to be one archetype is not accurate. Um, when you think back to the goddesses, the, the empower, the embodiment rather, the manifestation of divine feminine, um, it was very, none of them were just one thing. Nobody was just the goddess of love. Uh, she was the goddess of love, of money, of, of war, of justice, right? Think of Isis, the goddess Isis in Egypt, goddess of 10,000 names, right? multiple things we hold in us that maiden energy that that mother energy that crone energy so looking to just be one feminine thing all the time that's not it i in my opinion that's not it i can understand feeling that way because that's usually how it's presented to us and we think that that's how we need to sort of stay in the game so i'm very um compassionate to that but like pepper in some other stuff pepper in some other stuff pepper in some a wide variety of different like feminine energies. Um, I think it'll help a lot of people's journey. So I'm just going to wrap this video up. This was a little longer than I thought it was going to go by saying this. You are worthy of leveling up in any way that you see fit. But I would just really encourage you watching <laughs> um, to understand what it is you value. And I know there are some women who they will do, they will answer all of my questions. They will go through a whole worksheet. And at the end of it, they'll, they're will they like, you know what? I do want to be a housewife and a mother in Arrowhead or someplace or Buckhead or whatever with a Birkin bag and be a lady who, who lunches. And I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> I love that energy. I love that energy. It's so great. You know why I love that energy? Because it's their own energy. It's what they actually want in their hearts of heart. It's, it's something that's like, I've went deep down in myself and I understand that I value 
leisure time. I value being around my kids. I value being around my husband. I value, um, you know, making a home. And I can find all of my creative endeavors within those pursuits. And I don't need them anywhere else. Or I don't, like, there are other things I want to do, but that's what I want to focus on. Love it. Love it. Do it. <laughs> do anything you need to do to get to that, get to that, um, to that space. And that understanding what you really value, that's when you can create a routine. That's when you can start your whole level up of, you know, being feminine or whatever it is that have you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know that I was a little bit all over the place, but I hope it makes sense. Whatever you decide to do, whoever you decide to listen to, please make sure that it aligns with your values. It aligns with your gut and you're following your gut and you're going after what it is that you want from a place of holding yourself to a higher regard and understanding that, that you are worthy and that you're lovable and radiant and fantastic. Um, and once you understand that and you know what you really want, finding content that you really vibe with, maybe you don't really vibe with me because I'm too woohoo and like, and all of that stuff. Maybe you vibe with level up content that's like a little bit more, you know, I don't want to say grounded, but a little bit, you know, more secular i don't know i don't know the right word for that but if you vibe with that you vibe with that and you should go for it i don't have any issues with that okay thank you for watching i got some more videos over here and over here follow me on instagram and twitter at now let's get going and um head to the description box i do have my worksheet about knowing yourself and the process of knowing yourself and who, what you want um because that's important and once you know that it starts to come to you it starts to come to you. That is the true manifestation attraction, law of attraction, is really knowing what it is you want, okay? Thank you for watching and um, watch some other videos.